Hi kitty cats. So we're trying things out here. Whoa. <laughs> With the new ring light and seeing how this works. The camera's way back there and I've had to like position things and I'm learning how to like zoom in to where we want it and stuff. So this is what we got today. It might not be perfect because I'm still like going to be working out kinks on this. Um, and we are doing a mass Monday. So it's really weird to look at this light. And I'm going to probably cut that part out. Because you guys don't need to see my the boobs. <laughs> um, we got this Sweet Chef Kale and Vitamin B Fresh Pressed Sheet Mask. See it? There we go. Okay. Well, that worked out pretty good. And if I can get it open, go put this on my face. I've got a lot of filming to do today. Oh my goodness. Um, where is it? Is the question. There it is. This is very creamy. I've never seen one like this before. Where, like usually it's like a clear serum. But this has like a cream on it. Very different than what I've used in the past. Okay, let's get this nose out. There we go. And um, let's get this a shot, right? Yeah, it's got like this creamy, it feels like a lotion. I always like to spread it down my neck a bit. Okay, let's uh, get my glasses back on. Uh, use a little sanitizer on my hands after being on my face. Because that's what I have to do with having an autoimmune disorder. Okay. I am wondering about doing makeup with this ring light. Um, I'm still kind of wondering about that. Because it's kind of further away than what I'm used to. Because I usually have the camera up really close. So I have to use the zoom feature. So I'm going to have to also learn where to like put the ring light. I might have to make it lower for doing like a makeup video because um, this is actually a little taller than I guess I would want it to be. So that is Sugar in the background playing with a toy. Are you playing girl? Are you playing? So yeah, Tuesday, um, tomorrow, I'm going to go get my uh, infusion stuff done. I keep pulling on this because I see that it's not, you know. And uh, it's super exciting to be able to get my infusion medication again, the Remicade. Um, and I hope it works. It will make me vulnerable to viruses and stuff. Um, but the doctors don't feel like there's any reason for me to not take it. Um, that, you know, I just have to like be careful like I always am supposed to be and I should be fine so and I am going to cut this package open that I got from Zany Laney I made another order and you know they're not going to be around in a couple months or until their stock is sold out. So, 
why I'm making order last orders of things. And oh, she gave me another little swag bag, which is like a few little extra things. And another postcard it says sanctuary on it. Oh, the ring light makes it look kind of weird, huh? What's that's better if I angle it, it works. Okay, I'm learning, learning to use it, right? Um, okay, let's open up the little swag bag stuff first. Get my scissors out again. Oh, I forgot to see how long I'm supposed to keep this on. 15 to 20 minutes. We're probably going to do like another 10 minutes or so of this then. Because I've got other things i got to do today. Um, I've got another film and I want to make sure that I have time to put makeup on before... My friend gets here, Wendy, to do another film that will go up on Friday. So we got another little roll on. This one is To Me You Are Perfect Sugar Cookie Pomegranate Vanilla. Um, I think this is from the movie Love Actually. I'm not sure. Oh, that smells really nice though. That smells nice. So, that's a keeper. A little roll-on. And another Spider-Man sticker. Which, come on, come on. Uh, there we go. I have to get up really close to get the lighting right there. And then also the whole Loki mascot thing. That's super cute. Bianca wants the Spider-Man stickers because she, she loves Spider-Man. Okay, I got a couple repeats from what I got before. So I got another um, Thunder Thunder because I really liked the smell. And I wanted extra wax melt. It smells so good. Um, it smells like a creamsicle. It's just so yummy. And then we got Station. Um... Which, let me show you guys. Yeah, there we go. Which is acorns, marshmallow, and woods. It smells amazing. Like, I bought these in the last one that I just showed you, like, last week. Um, but I wanted to get them again. This, I'm going to have to get a spray of this because when I ordered it, I didn't know that the company was going to be going away so I just ordered this just to see what the scent was like and I think I like it this is infinite which is supposed to be for the flash it's vanilla cherry cola milkshake it smells yummy mm. yummy yummy I also noticed like the wax melts are blue now they used to all be like white, and now they're blue. I don't know why. Okay, this is an oldie but goodie. Um, the Sherbert Lemon, which is for Harry Potter. Uh, lemon cake and fruity cereal. This is one of my favorites. I have always loved this one. I might have to order another one of these if I get a chance because I'm going to be super sad when I run out of this. I do think I found a dupe for this for wax melts, but that company doesn't make body sprays. They only make wax melts. Um, so I might only be able to get this scent in a wax melt. But I am going to be working on that, finding dupes for these scents. Um since they'll be selling out and I want to be able to tell you guys like where you can still get some of these scents you know that you really loved 
So if you have a specific scent that you really loved from Zany Weenie, let me know and I will try to find the dupe for it. And Occupation. Um, this is raspberry, apples, and almonds. I'm not sure what it's supposed to be representing. That smells really good. Very tasty. Um, sort of fruity, but you know, it's got that little bit of that almond to it. Um, I love the smell of almonds. It's funny because almond is not my favorite nut to eat, but the smell of it is so good. So we got that. And then we got Ivy Waiting For You, which is, you know, re represents poison ivy. Has anybody been watching that Harley Quinn cartoon on the DC Universe channel? It is so good. Like, if you can just, like, get the DC Universe channel, like, get, I think you can get it for, like, a week for free. I mean, even if you just do that, just so that you can binge watch that cartoon, it's not for kids. It is not for kids at all. Um, it may be animated, but it's not for children. Um, it's really, really funny. Hmm. This smells good, too. It is black cherry, citrus, and ivy. I don't know that ivy really has a scent, but you can definitely ch smell the black cherry and citrus. And there's something else there too, which must be the ivy, but I don't, I can't really explain it, but this is, I'm gonna put some on right now. Yeah, I put it on my head. <laughs> Let my head smell good too, right? So that's all the, that zany laney stuff that I ordered. We still got like four minutes. So we can have a little conversation, I guess. Um, I'm not sure what to converse about. Is there anything? Jeez, oh, I'm wondering if, like what kind of exciting palettes might be coming out or whatever. I really can't think of anything. Um, I know a lot of people have been, you know, getting the Bloodlust palette, but honestly, it doesn't, the packaging is beautiful, but the colors don't really, I don't know. It's not doing anything for me. However, that collection, the highlighter from it, I would love to get a hold of that. I would. The highlighter from it looks absolutely amazing. Every time I see somebody showing it, I'm like, oh, crap. I want that highlighter. But the eyeshadow palette just isn't doing it for me. You know, it's one of those things where, I'm, you know, not everybody has the same taste, you know? And I'm not going to, like, you know, people get upset when you say you don't like something that belongs to a brand that they like. And it's like, I'm not, I don't really have very many brands that I am loyal to. Um, and even if I am, if something doesn't interest me, it doesn't interest me. I love ColourPop. ColourPop is my most favorite brand to buy from. It's inexpensive and their quality is really amazing for the price you're getting. But sometimes they too have things that I'm like, eh. I remember they had this these lipsticks. They were modeled or something. I think that was the word. They were like modeled liquid lipsticks. And a lot of people were like, ooh. And I was just like, that does nothing for me. Nothing. And I love NYX lippies, except for their lingerie line, which a lot of people love. Doesn't do anything for me. I'm not really into like lots of nudes. So for me, it was just like, oh yeah. And I don't know, I didn't care for the formula that much. I felt like compared to the NYX suede, wasn't that great to me. Um, so I mean, everybody's different in what they like. I could hear voices outside because now it's a beautiful day today. It's in the 60s. It's, let's see, what is the temperature right now? It's 68 freaking degrees out, people, in Vermont. In March. I love it. I'm so happy. The snow is melting away. I'm just 
praying that we don't get another snow before the end of the month and that it stays relatively nice, at least in the 50s, maybe. I know that's unrealistic to think of, but I'm just really over winter. So for me, this is like the most gorgeous day. I'm so happy. The cats all went outside. They were like, yeah, they were shocked. Like, cause cup, some of my cats go out no matter what, but they'll come right back in. Um, because they're like, oh, it's cold out. And today, um, the cats that don't even go out, you know, during the winter were kind of like, hmm, it's nice out. And yes, my cats all have their shots and everything. And I know some people don't believe in letting cats outside. I live in an area where I'm comfortable letting them outside. And um, they want to. It's not like I'm kicking them out the door. <laughs> they want to go outside. It's, they're, it's something they like to do. Um, and I'm, I'm watching actually Selena right now. She's outside. She's so happy. And I, that's the thing. I see them being like super happy. Um, some people put their cats on leashes and take them for walks and that's cool too. But I grew up with cats going outside so I'm cool with it. And you know, I don't judge people for not letting them outside if that's what makes you comfortable with them and it works for you and your cat, that's great. But that doesn't work for me and my cats. When I lived, there are other places I lived in though that where I did keep my cats at inside and I always felt bad about it it just makes me feel bad and that whole thing where they're like oh they don't live as long dude I got a 17 year old and an 18 year old cat that's really long life for a cat so that's a bullshit thing <laughs> those statistics are like screwed up because I grew up with outdoor cats they always lived long lives I mean <laughs> I've had 22 year old cats before. That's really long for a cat, indoor or outdoor. So yeah, that's just a bunch of hooey in my opinion. Um, I think, also I think a lot of statistics are made up sometimes to push agendas, but that's also an opinion of mine. I have no proof of that. So, and that's what we're doing right now. We're talking about my opinions. That doesn't make them facts. And I know that. So, and so, you know, if you're going to like bark at me about these things, like just don't bother. <laughs> it isn't going to make any difference to me. So there you go. I've had so many, so much trolling lately, um, especially on my Instagram of people like telling me what to do and, oh, you shouldn't do this and you should do that. And I'm just like... Leave me alone, right? Okay, I didn't even check to see if it said to rub it in. Most of them do. Yes. It says pat in, but I rub it in. And then follow with moisturizer, so. I already washed my face before I did this, so. That's cool. I'll just follow with some moisturizer. No serum this morning because I guess this is my serum. Oh, and somebody's here. <laughs> Hello. Hello. I was just doing a different film. <laughs> so, actually, this is actually really nice. I was kind of surprised because it's so different than other sheet masks that I've done because of the formula. Um, but yeah, my skin feels really hydrated. So, I'm kind of creamy right now because it still hasn't completely dried down. So, thanks for watching. And please remember to, you know, do all that cool stuff. Give me a thumbs up and all that stuff. It really helps me. And uh, always remember to be kind. Unless they're not being, then go ahead. I don't care. Anyways, bye. <laughs>